Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading. Uh, this is going to be for your Aries, um, for your Aries, for uh, the rest of your October um, going into November. Um, we're going to take a look at your old, uh, take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then uh, we'll finish off the read uh, with the um, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. So tell me about Aries. Aries and love. For the rest of their October going into November. <clears throat> tell me about Aries and love and the person that they are connecting with. For the rest of their October going into November. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries. For Aries. Okay, so like I said, this is a bonus reading uh, for the rest of October and perhaps going into November. But even though I give this all my readings a time frame, they're all timeless. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you know, Aries, this is an indication that, you know, you're doing really well at this time. You guys are juggling a lot. You guys are working really hard. You know, you guys are financially stable, independent. Single, doing really well on your own here. Just happy with where you are at. Um, there could be someone here that's interested in you here too. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely ready for marriage. This person's ready for the real deal here. I mean, you could have already been dealing with this person because I feel like maybe you guys are like a work friends or something like that. But whoever this is, I do feel like there is someone here, a masculine here, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Sun, Leo energy that wants to move forward in a commitment here with you, okay? Or that, you know, if you guys haven't gone out yet, obviously you guys have to get to know each other first, go on dates. But I do feel like you're about to meet your twin flame or something like that, if you guys are into labels. Now, if you guys are not into labels, this is just an indication that this person that you're meeting or that this person that's in or around your life you have a very strong soul type with this person, okay? The Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Yeah, so Aries, I feel like you're putting yourself first at this time. Yeah, you're putting yourself first at this time. You're really just taking care of you. Yeah, you're taking care of you. I feel like right now in this very moment, I feel like some of you guys could be, you know, going through something where you're trying to find your purpose in life, trying to figure out what's next for you. You know, the Sun card, we have the Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Whoever this is, this is an indiv individual that sees the future here with you. This person's envisioning it. If this person has been working with you in the, for a while, they've been seeing it for a while here. And I feel like this person knows you are the one for them. They know that, okay? Maybe you might have that inclination that you might know that too. Six of Swords, we have the Devil. Tell me the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Mm. You know, one of the, the only drawback is here that there is someone here that might have like addiction issues. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I feel like this person also has codependency here too, but more so addiction issues. I feel like this person definitely leans on maybe, you know, maybe this person does Drugs like marijuana, uh, mushrooms, ketamine. Maybe this person drinks a lot. But that is the only issue that re is really coming up with this individual. And you might not know a lot about, you might not know the side of, of this person. Now, I, I, I don't get the sense that this person is, you know, bad or anything like that. It's just that they have some, they have some vices and it's not that healthy. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries for the rest of October going into November? We have the Magician and the Two of Wands. I feel like this person is trying to manifest here with you or that they're trying to manifest this connection. I mean, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this is an individual that wants to talk to you. I do feel like this person wants to take things to the next level here with you. Um, 
Another thing that's coming up here is that I feel like this person is very guarded also. So I feel like they don't, if this person has like a drug issue or something like that, it, this is definitely a dark side of them that they don't want to share with you. Yeah, um, well, and, and this person definitely has skeletons in their closet, but also with the moon card and the ace of cups here, this is definitely new love. Um, or that if you have been dealing with this person for a while, they're falling in love with you. They're falling in love with you. They want to take a huge leap of faith with you. Okay, they want to go on this journey together here with you. I do feel like this person is very sweet, very romantic. Um, I do feel like this person is very charming also. This person is definitely seeing you as their happiness here. Uh, this person is definitely coming to a realization that, you know, they might be realizing that, oh my God, Aries is the one for me. Okay, judgment, Sagittarius energy. Um, the moon, we have the six of wands. So this is an individual that knows where victory and success lies. Okay, I do feel like uh, some of you guys might start off as friends first uh you know i feel like you guys might even hook up and then it'll turn into something more here but it you know i feel like with the page of wands here i do feel like this is an individual that's really you know really attracted to you sexually attracted to you okay what else do we have for for aries what else does aries need to know look out for for the rest of their october going into november sun moon rising Venus signs regarding this love situation for aries for aries Wow, we have the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. You know, Aries, I'm not going to lie. I do feel like some of you guys are just really focused on other things right now. Yeah, when it comes to love right now, I don't feel like you guys are really looking for it or really interested in it. I feel like you guys haven't really completely cut it out. But it's more so I feel like you just you guys are just focused on other things here. Okay, focused on you. Um, focused on your work. Uh, and, you know, I just feel like you're just letting things naturally just develop here you know but i do feel like over time i feel like you might come around and put more effort into it uh but right now you know with the seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles i just feel like you're just more focused on your career if you guys have your own businesses you guys are just focused on your own businesses at this time uh the empress libra taurus queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces yeah you know um you know, I feel like if you guys are owning your own business, I feel like right now there's a lot on your plate. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of conflict here um, regarding the people that you're working with, maybe vendors that you're working with here. Um, yeah, I just feel like you're putting out a lot of fires at this time. And I feel like when it comes to love, like I said, it's not really on the radar here for you. Uh, you're not really completely cutting it out. It's just that your focus has really is not on love right now. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. I do feel like this is a divinely guided soul connection here. I do feel like this person is going to give you loyalty. I do feel like this person has good morals. Bar it from, you know, whatever they're taking. Okay. But um, I, the, the Hierophant Taurus energy. But right now, I just feel like to just really focus on other things here. With the Empress of the Empress. Yeah. Um, eight of Pence, yeah the, um, I feel like this is an individual that's going to stop at nothing to catch you. Yeah, this is an individual that's really, 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 really interested in you. Yeah, they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to like w wave hand signals at you. But like I said, you're just focused on other things, which is nothing wrong with that. It's okay. So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.